Hi and welcome back to Ours Life On. Today I will show you how to power the 12 volt camera with a video transmitter that only supports 5 volt cameras. So I'm not actually going to power it through this, but I am going to make this work. So, first of all, the reason why I bought the new camera, uh, because I had this, a camera from Rhythmate RC. It was a super nice camera, but as you can see, it's in bits right now. Um, and that's because, you know, stupid me, I used two long screws and um, I damaged the components inside. Gosh, this was like 90 bucks, so I got really pissed off because of that. But I went to securitycameras2000.com. Um, this camera is only $30, so if I do the same mistake again, it's not gonna cost me as much. But this is the Sony Super HAD CCD 600 TV line yeah, uh, camera with a 3.6 millimeter lens and uh, so far I've, I've not been flying with it yet but I have done some minor testing and it looks to be great I mean for the price absolutely awesome so again I'm going to make this work how to power a 12 12 volt camera with a video transmitter that only supports 5 volts so let me show you how I did it alright so this is probably as easy as it gets all you have to do is use the standard power cable and uh, now this video transmitter operates from uh, every, everything from a 2 cell to I believe it, it's like a 6 cell so it has a wide range of voltage which is super nice because now we can use a 3 cell for both the video transmitter and the camera so what I did was I took this cable right here and I just let the white and the green wire float because I'm not using audio and the black and the, and the red wire is just the 5 volt output so I'm not going to use that since I can power the camera with it so all I did was I took the yellow wire and connected it to a servo connector the, the other end of the servo connector and the camera itself has three wires it's red, yellow and red so all you have to do is take the yellow end, connect it to a servo connector, and connect them both together. So this one goes to the video transmitter, just like this, and that's the audio. No, that, sorry, that's the video. And then you have the red and black wire from the camera, which needs 12 volts. So now we have two JST plugs that needs 12 volts. So that's why I have this battery. It's a wire harness with a two JST plugs. So all you have to do is power this in just like this. Now both the objects are powered with 12 volts. Now I'm, I am actually using the same battery to power the, um, the VIA goggles. Just like that. And we do actually have video. So if you have a charger similar to this one with the, the uh, XT6 to plug, all you have to do is a, um, a connector like this uh, that has a XT6 to plug and the JST on the other end. So all you have to do is plug this in and you can charge the battery that way. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it help helpful in uh, some way. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.